Crime and Punishment tonight, a truly creepy story. This is a clip from the dating, uh, the dating game back in the 1970s. Bachelor number one, the guy you see there, was just convicted of five murders. Bachelor number one is a serial killer, it turns out, and he had already had a violent record when this episode aired. He didn't just appear on the show, he actually won the date. In a moment, I'll talk live with another contestant who sat next to him that day. But first, here's Tom Foreman. Your host, Jim Lyon. Back in 1978, The Dating Game was a popular TV show, and in his only appearance, the 35-year-old photographer was a hit. Please welcome Rodney Alcala. Rod, welcome. He was, in game show fashion, charming, funny, and suggestive. What's your best time? The best time is at night. Nighttime. <laughs> Flash forward, this is Rodney Alcala now. Convicted of murdering four women and a 12-year-old girl in separate incidents around Los Angeles around the time of that show, when he acted like just another guy. We're going to have a great time together, Cheryl. Serial killers are tremendous actors. Pat Brown, a criminal profiler, watches that show and sees nothing unusual because, she says, that's what Alcala wanted. Serial killers are predators, and yes, they act like... Uh, uh, an animal that is trying to get his prey and the rest of the time is trying to blend in so we don't notice him. At least one person noticed something. Bachelor number two, Jed Mills, still recalls how Alcala seemed dark, slimy, and obnoxious, treating others like objects until he wanted something. I'm called the banana and I look really good. Uh, can you be a little more descriptive? Peel me. <laughs> Investigators have long pursued Alcala even before he appeared on the dating game. He had been convicted of kidnapping and raping a young girl. He was convicted twice in the killing of Robin Samso, that 12-year-old on her way to ballet class. Twice the case went to retrial before finally this latest conviction for her and four other murders.